Now, after air dropping aid into one tone, um, the United States have called for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris uh, pressured Israel to increase the flow of aid into Gaza Strip to ways of what she called inhumane conditions among the Palestinian people. She said, and I quote, people in Gaza are starving, the conditions are inhuman, and our common humanity compels us to act. The Israeli government must do more to significantly increase the flow of aid. Let's in fact listen in to what the US Vice President have, has had to say. To the immense scale of suffering in Gaza there must be an immediate ceasefire for at least the next six weeks, which is what is currently on the table. This will get the hostages out and get a significant amount of aid in. This would allow us to build something more enduring to ensure Israel is secure and to respect the right of the Palestinian people to dignity, freedom, and self-determination. The immense... Well, of course, to you as there, you heard it. Uh, meanwhile, joining us at this point of time is my colleague, uh, Brian Thomas. Brian, uh, uh, what more details can you share with our viewers as far as uh, Kamala Harris's statement is concerned? And what's the overall uh, picture in uh, Israel and Gaza at this point of time? emphasize the urgent need for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and urge Israel to, you know, ramp up the humanitarian aid to elevate um, what she described as inhuman conditions and a human, uh, humanitarian catastrophe facing the Palestinian population. And even Harris's marks also mark one of the strongest calls from a senior U.S. government official for Israel to address the situation in Gaza. And uh, speaking at an event also uh, also in Selma, um, Alabama, uh, commem uh, commemorating the anniversary of uh, Bloody Sunday, Harris also urged Hamas to accept a proposed agreement aimed at securing the release of hostages, initiating a six-week ceasefire and facilitating increased aid delivery. Um, she also says that people in Gaza are enduring starvation and the conditions they face are unacceptable. And she also says that the that their shared humanity compels them to take actions as asserted by, um, by um, Kamala Harris and even she continues to say that the Israeli government must do more to significantly boost the flow of aid without delay and there cannot be any excuses. Even Israel also opted to skip Gaza ceasefire negotiations uh, in Cairo that happened yesterday on Sunday uh, after Hamas refused to comply with its demand for a comprehensive list of still uh, living hostages, uh, you know, as, as, as it was reported. And even now, uh, the, Kamala Harris emphasizes that uh, Hamas claims to desire a ceasefire. Well, there, um, she also talks about the agreement that is on table. And uh, she also says that, as, as she has stated before, Hamas must agree to this deal and says that they, they should secure a ceasefire and reunite hostages with their families and provide immediate assistance to the people of Gaza. Yes, All right, uh, Brian, with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast and sharing those details with our viewers. In fact, joining us at this point of time is Mr. Sanjeev Shroasif, international affairs expert. Uh, good morning, sir, and thank you so much for speaking to us on NewsX. Now, uh, United States Vice President Kamala Harris has called for an immediate ceasefire. Now, this is, in fact, uh, in Gaza. Now, this, in fact, uh, it's, 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 it's essentially issuing a rare rebuke of Israel. What do you make of... Uh, uh, what do you make of these statements that are coming in at this point of time? So I will have to request you to unmute yourself. Yeah, uh, am I audible now? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, Asabdi, I think that this is this statement by uh, U.S. Uh, Vice President uh, Kamala Harris is uh, significant uh, because the ground situation in Gaza is uh, quite dire. And it is, uh, uh, as she said, uh, it is a, a humanitarian catastrophe-like situation is prevailing at this point of time. And uh, people of uh, Gaza, the innocent people, uh, the common people of Gaza, they are, you know, uh, suffering. They need urgent attention, and they need uh, humanitarian, you know, assistance. And uh, and uh, what India has been also putting forward its uh, suggestion that. Uh, 
a safe humanitarian corridor should also be established and the people of uh, gaza must be given immediate uh, relief uh, uh, from the kind of uh, uh, suffering and crisis and disaster uh, which they are uh, uh, going through because of this ongoing uh, israel's uh, and hamas war but uh, for to ensure an uh, immediate ceasefire i think uh, uh, it is uh, imperative uh, for hamas also uh, to accept uh, the israeli uh, you know proposal to give the uh, give them a list of uh, those hostages which are, which are still in hamas's captivity and to you know release them as early as possible and uh, if uh, that kind of a deal uh, could uh, be struck between israel and hamas uh, for uh, you know ensuring the uh, uh, safe release of those hostages then i think uh, this is a possibility but this uh, the talks which are going on in cairo uh, israel has backed out because hamas has uh, refused uh, uh, to provide a list of uh, those hostages which are still in hamas's uh, captivity so i think uh, if uh, uh, Ham- and I, I, and we know that hamas wants a ceasefire and hamas uh, is also under enormous pressure uh, but uh, if uh, you know both the sides uh, could come up with a constructive uh, idea and if a deal could be struck uh, between israel uh, and hamas and uh, and uh, that uh, and that uh, should lead uh, to the uh, release of those hostages then i think that is that possibility is there and it there could be a, a, a probably a six week uh, siege fire uh, between uh, uh, the two sides so i think if that possibility could be worked out it will be you know a win win situation for every you know uh, uh, party uh, and uh, ultimately the people of gaza the innocent lives of gaza and uh, people uh, the, those who are suffering hard they will get so, some respite and uh, some you know relief so i think uh, uh, what kamla harris is saying is a very very uh, uh, constructive suggestion and which uh, all the parties uh, should listen to and should come up with a, a constructive deal uh, to ensure uh, 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 immediate ceasefire and that is the need of the hour in my assessment too and uh, i think uh, 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 but let's see what kind of uh, response uh, uh, comes out from the both the sides because ultimately it is israel and hamas uh, both will have to uh, work out uh, with a constructive deal uh, so that uh, such ceasefire is a possibility so we'll have to still uh, see but uh, in in the united states of america whether it is president biden or the vice president kamala harris uh, they are making this kind of uh, remarks uh, time and again and uh, we know that uh, united states of america it is election year so i think uh, all such you know um, considerations are very much there and the political consideration must also be there in the uh, us uh, uh, you know uh, uh, president and vice president so i think um, uh, the entire situation at this point of time uh, is uh, obviously quite complex but still uh, the deal and the possibility of a siege fire is very much there but it is as i said ultimately will have to be you know decided uh, by the warring parties the israel uh, defense forces israeli establishment as well as the hamas For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.